there are four elements that I have to uh, uh, receive information regarding. <laughs> Yeah, obviously at the time, 1995, I was uh, in England. You know, it was a year later when I came to the US. And if you're asking me, what did I really know of, of uh, this tragedy? Not, not a great deal, really. And I think coming to the museum today has really opened my eyes, not only as to what happened then, but also the, the effort to rebuild and to uh, reimagine a city after that uh, tragic event has is, uh, is been remarkable. I didn't know a ton about it until I moved here, what, three years ago? Um, and my cousin took me and my wife uh, here and stuff and explained everything. And we, every time that we have family come in town now, like everybody always wants to go check out the memorial and they can remember exactly where they were, when it happened and everything. I learned about it in school, uh, um, middle school, Oklahoma history. So we learned about that. That was around maybe like 04, 05. And then later on in high school, I did a project over it, actually. I think the, the spirit of Oklahoma is, is something that is really, really strong. And I think one thing that struck me today is the, the idea of the Oklahoma standard, one that is of people really coming together, a great, great group of people who always look to help others first and make certain that if there are anybody having difficulties in their life, they run to help. And I think that was a story that really, really hit me hard today. Um, when we went through the uh, courthouse when they were doing kind of like the hearing and then after you heard the hearing and all of a sudden the explosion kind of happened and all the pictures of people kind of flashed like in front of you and stuff, I thought that was kind of alarming like you know you're going throughout your regular day and then something like that just happens um, and you have no control over it or anything and um, it's just it's devastating but, um, but then after you know when you look through it and go through the rest of the museum and you see how how much people came together and especially you know when it actually happened that the fact that everybody ran towards the explosion is mind-blowing because um, I mean normally people run away from a tragic event whereas you know the people here ran to help and stuff which is I mean it's incredible. Compared to when I first came now when you can hear the sounds of everything that's going on where it kind of not necessarily in the shoes but you can feel the environment the hostility everything that was going on in that moment and that kind of that you grasp like the dire need of like desperation that that was felt at that time. Just thinking about the fact that you know parents drop their kids off at daycare you know and they think they're safe and they think they're okay and you know next thing you know something like this happens and they're gone. We're, we're always trying to serve the fans in the best way we possibly can. I think any time the players and the coaching staff get to understand the community that little bit better I think it's a great thing for us and, and I think more importantly, days like today are, are so inspirational for all of us, you know, that, uh, you know, we have a very privileged life. We, we get to enjoy uh, something that's a love affair for us is, is soccer and we get to live it every single day. So I think any time you get to be reminded that people have come through real, real hardships in their lives and have come out the other side smiling and positive and making sure that they keep working hard I think is always a great message for all of us. I think if you're gonna you know be a representation of the city you need to know you know the the heartfelt that they've dealt with and kind of show it on you know on the field or in the community that you can because um, it is important to make that connection and to show that you care about what they've gone through and how far that they've come even if you didn't necessarily experience it firsthand. And it goes with just connecting deeply because um, you know Oklahoma, you know Oklahoma City, but then when you tie a tragedy into it or into something deeper where you see like what the community was built off of, um, that gives a deeper connection and deeper meaning to what you're playing for. For us always it's really important that the players understand that there is a community at large and that there is a uh, a way to serve the community as well and that is to give your best every single day for the community and for the people and for the fans and I hope that today that's a message that the players take with them.